my dear, dear friend. So how are you feeling today? Fine, I hope. But in this weather, it's not always easy to feel so good. Hot one day, cold the next day. Who knows even what to wear to feel comfortable? So what happens? Listen, any intelligent person knows that when he's feeling tired and not so, 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 and his resistance may be low, and, and, and that can lead to trouble. So why shouldn't you try to do something about an ounce of prevention? Huh? How? <laughs> Ask me. Try ride it all. And that tired feeling it can come because you're not getting the vital elements in ride it all. And in that case, ride it all can make such a difference. You won't even know yourself. You'll be feeling so good. You'll be building up resistance, building up your, your, your worn out body cells, building up a whole new feeling of energy on your present, how shall I say it, uh, your present foundation, so to speak. So try my ride it all. And try it now because now, now you can try it free. Yes, free. And when you go to your drugstore and you buy this 100 size bottle at the regular price, your drugstore will give you this $1.98 cent size bottle of Ribitol free. So try it. What can you lose? And if you're not feeling like a new person in just seven little days, return the 100 size bottle and get your money back every penny. And keep the $1.98 cent size as a gift to present. So do yourself a favor. Try Ribitol. But Immediately. <laughs> Rosie, darling. So throw an eye in the frigidator. Yes, darling, please, and see if I need something. And if yes, you have time to run down before the store is closed for the holiday. Yes? I think you have everything, Mama, darling. Go look anyway, darling. See if I have bread, uh -huh. if I have butter, if I have this or that or anything which. Go see. Yeah, darling? Light, light, light. Light, light, yeah. Did Sammy go down for my suit before the tailor closes for the holiday? Yes, it is. Ed, Molly, please. Oh, why don't you say? <laughs> so get finished early shaving and get finished dressing already so I can also get dressed. I want to be dressed before, before sundown. Please, wait, wait a minute. Hold, hold. I shouldn't touch you. All right. W where's David? All right, he's in his room. Uh -huh. All right, I think I got it. Thank you, Molly. Too far. Oh, thank you, Sammy. All the stores on the block are beginning to close for the holiday month. So if you need anything, I'll... I uh, Rose is looking, darling. And please get dressed right, already. Right. I also want to get dressed yeah. already. Mama, darling, you don't need anything. No. All right. Yeah. So do me something, yeah, darling. Do, do, do my left hand, yeah, dear, and leave the moons out, yeah, right. please. Yes. So, so did you decide what you're going to wear tonight, the temple? Uh, yeah. Maybe your your taffeta. <laughs> Huh? Maybe a velvet come in, you ever. Oh, hello, Mrs. Helen Hello, Mrs. Hello, Bogart. darling. Excuse me for bothering you, but my zipper got stuck. Oh, I can't yes? get it up. Oh, I can't get it away. down. No, I'll, I'll do it in a minute. I'll see what I can. Take the implements away. Yeah, darling, please. Let me see. Where? The Here. zipper? I'll hold it I, and you pull I it. I don't know. I like hooks and eyes. Let me see. Wait, hold. Straight, darling. Say, where is it? Oh. You got it? Yeah, wait. Hold, mm -hmm. hold. Take yourself in a little bit. In here. Oh, it's oh, yes. tight. Why don't you slenderize yourself in this slenderella? <laughs> oh, I oh, know. Wait. Hold, oh, darling. Can't get it. I can't get it. Hold. Take away your hand a little bit. Let me. Let me down. Wait. 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 Hold. Take yourself in. <laughs> I got it. Oh, 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 a little thing like a zipper can make me so nervous. <laughs> me uh, look what I look like. I didn't even have time to go to the hairdresser. No? Yeah, maybe you can do something for me? Here. Right here, maybe if I'll snip you a little bit. Yes, Rosa, darling, bring me in a scissor and a towel and a comb. Yeah, darling, please? So when are you going to start to get through? Everybody's starting slowly. Shouldn't be any excitement. I like to be in temple before the first star is in the sky. We'll all <laughs> go together. I, Mrs. Helen Bogan, if through the year I said something or I did something, I want to say excuse me. Likewise, Mrs. <laughs> Goldberg, if I said anything. You didn't, Dom. You're always a good neighbor. I'll try to be better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my, my. <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to wear to temple? I have nothing to wear, only my periwinkle suit, darling. I, I lost three pounds. Could that make such a difference? All my dresses are falling <laughs> on me already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's no. wonderful. Yeah, oh, Help. thank you, thank you, now. darling. Now, let me which see. Which dress should I wear? Huh? Which do you think? Mm. I don't know. I always like velvet. Mm. No? Mm. It's beautiful. Huh? You should see the dress I bought my Linda. 
Also velvet? Yeah. So where the velvet already, yeah? So let me see what I can do for you now. I paid more for Linda's dress than I have any right to pay in our circumstances. Yeah. Would you believe me? I paid more for Linda's dress than I paid for my own. <laughs> but there are parents and parents in this world. Listen, darling, a parent is a parent. Oh. There are very few fathers like Mr. Ellen Bogan. Listen, darling, and, and, and how many Mr. Goldberg? <laughs> if you went the whole world over. At least Mr. Goldberg is in business for himself. My Joe is a salaried man, but every week his envelope goes to the family. You know, I have to fight with him for him to buy a suit for himself. Hmm. Sometimes I'm ashamed to walk out with him. And me and the children look like millionaires, and his pants are shiny. <laughs> like a looking glass. <laughs> well, the children should only grow up and appreciate him, that's all. Oh, they will, darling, they will. But you put in a child, you always take out, darling. I hope so. <laughs> you will. I think it's enough already. Uh -huh. I think it's... Uh -huh. I made a little bit italian this. <laughs> 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 all right, darling. So I'll see you in Temple, yes? yes? Thank you very that's much. That's all right. We're just waiting for Uncle Dave and Charlie the doctor to come, and then we're going. Right, thank you very much. I'll yes. see you later. All right, darling. Pleasure to you. Go with you, darling. Get me my hat, yes, darling. Which hat are you going to wear, Mom? I didn't decide yet which hat. Bring in the hat. You, Mrs. Silvertone. You, Mrs. Silvertone left her daughter-in-law. I already. Yes. Oh, yeah. thank you, darling. Thank I just you. wanted to see what I should wear with tonight with my niece. Which dress are you going to wear it? With my periwinkle, visualize. Huh? Maybe a periwinkle, I no, don't like it. No, no. So, so see this one. See if you like this one better. Let me see. With a veil better. Mm -hmm. A little better, but no. I'm not crazy for it. No. Me neither. It makes no. me sure. Yes. Yeah. Here, yeah. yeah. give me it. Try right. mine. Oh, okay. I always look better than somebody else's hat. I you always that. told you to take me along when you're going buying a hat. <laughs> How is that? Oh, I love it. Wear yeah. it. So what will you wear? Come here, let me try yours. Huh? Try mine. Here, here look. Let me see. How do you like this one? A little bit on the side. This oh, one. yeah, I love it. <laughs> so where is that? Time change. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Herman, darling, if I, if I did something or said something through the year, I want to say I'm sorry. And if I said something or did something, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Molly. All right, darling. So I'll see, see you later. Yeah, darling. Bye, darling. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Molly, maybe yes. it's only my imagination, but yes. I don't think David looks so well to me today. I didn't know. Just I'll go see. Don't see, don't ask. Wait, maybe I only imagine. Maybe he has a headache. Maybe he overindulged himself, and I said, David, David, you'll have to fast the whole day. A whole day you wouldn't have a morsel. Mama, <laughs> darling, what's yes. the matter with Uncle David? Oh, you see? Yeah. Why? I don't know. He looks worried. Well, he looks worried. This is the kind of a holiday where a person has to ponder. It's a holy day where people ask for forgiveness, Rosalie, darling. I know that, Ma, but Ma. Yeah, what? Uncle well, David. Uh, David? David. You dressed the ready, David? Oh, well, then I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rosalie, darling, I have you all laid out on the bed. Go, darling. Yes, please. Well, uh, Mother? Oh, you're ready, too. Everybody's ready, and I'm standing. Uh, let me look at you. Huh? All right. That, that's your suit. What do you mean, that's my suit? No, you look at the sleeve. How many times did you wear that suit that the sleeve should look like that? Huh? Short and in the pocket. Hmm? Can you imagine? Of course this is not my suit. Mm -hmm. Sammy! Sammy! Uh, no? Sammy, will you give a run yeah. right down to Schneider for ten of this minute and tell me he gave, gave me the wrong suit? That's not proper suit. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? All right, James. Mm -hmm. Please, please. One mm -hmm. holiday without excitement, please. One holiday, please. Sammy went down so it'll be attended to. And, and why you're still strolling in your kimono, I still don't know. How long is it taking to slip on something? And I want to talk. David? It's nothing, Molly. You're sure? I'm sure. You're feeling well, David? I'm well. Very well. Huh? May, may, maybe you should lay down a little bit. That's time for a few minutes. Well, why, why should I lay down? You, you look pale, no? No. David, darling, if it's something, why shouldn't I know? If it was something, you would know, no? Oh, David, if you don't want to tell me, so don't tell me. If it was something to tell you, I would tell. All right, so I'm going to get dressed. What time will Sally be here? We'll go without my Sally this year. Without Sally? This year is going to go to temple with his father-in-law. 
With his father-in-law? So why shouldn't he go with his father-in-law? Why? Why shouldn't he go? Why? Why? Molly, what is it? David is upset. That I know. The first time that Sally wouldn't be going to Temple with David. Sally's not going? No, not with David. With who then? With his father-in-law. You mean it? Yes. Molly, you mean that Sally? Just is? told me. You see, at that I'm surprised. Sally knows how David looks forward to this day. The one day in the year of all the holidays when David wants to be with him. The first time. But it's not right. It's no wonder David is upset. I didn't know Sally was so devoted to his father. All right, so why should he be undevoted? After all, it's his wife's father. Molly, oh. did you mix up my handkerchiefs with Jake's? Your handkerchiefs with initials? Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll see. Maybe I put D with J. I'll, hmm. I'll, I'll see. Uh, uh, Jake, uh, here. Yes? Uh, I'll be right back. Where are you going? Next door. In your kimono? To tell Tony. To who? To Sally, I don't want David to hear. Maybe you shouldn't. Don't start, Molly. I am not going to start. I'm going to ask. What? Why? In just a moment, we'll return to the Goldbergs. But first, here's an important message. Fabulous vitamin offer. In a moment, you'll learn how to get free a regular $1.98 bottle of famous Ributol Jelly Caps. But first, meet Mrs. Mildred Fasson of Bayside, New York. I was always so haggard and irritable. My druggist suggested Ributol. And since taking it, I feel like a new person. Mrs. Fasson was not getting enough thiamine and riboflavin from her food. If, for the same reason, you too feel tired and worn out, Ributol can help you. That's why the Vitamin Corporation of America is giving away millions of regular $1.98 bottles of Ributol free. When you buy this 100 size bottle, you get the regular $1.98 Ributol at no extra cost. You must feel stronger, peppier in seven days, or keep the $1.98 size as a gift and return the 100 size for full cash refund. You may never know how good you can feel until you've tried Ributol. Offer limited. Get your free Ributol now. And now, back to the Goldbergs. Sammy? The store was closed, Pa. Closed? Now what am I going to do? Now what am I going to do? Well, can't you wear another suit? How many navy blue suits does your father have? Well, it's got to be navy blue, Pa. What else should I wear in Temple? Uh, my, my, my stripe, my, my pepper and salt. The one suit that I feel like a person in. The only made-to-measure suit that I own. Who knows if I'll ever see it again? The tailor was very busy today, Pa. He didn't have anyone to help him. His son went into the army last month. If this was at least a decent-looking suit, I'd wear it. Hmm? What happened now? The tailor sent the wrong suit. What's Papa going to do now? I don't know, Rosie. What's the matter, Uncle David? Aren't you feeling well? Place don't always see the same, Rosalie. I, I know that, Uncle David, but... Is it because it's Yom Kippur Eve that you look so blue? No, Rosalie. Uncle David, you gave Sammy his first Bible, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Do you read sometimes the Bible, Rosalie? Not as much as I should, I guess. Uncle David, you read the Bible more than anybody else in the family, and that's why I was wondering... Hi, Rosalie. What wonderful, smart people wrote the Bible. The, the experience and knowledge of all those people who lived before us could be given to all of us in a package on the day when we were born. Then we could live. Aye, what a life we could live. But who don't know the things that are right? Who don't know, for instance, honor thy father and mother? Well, what's right is nothing. Nothing unless you live by what's right. I know that, Uncle David. Rosalie, uh, get me my, uh, my, my new shoes. Yes, darling, it's in the hall closet. Which ones? Ma? Which ones? How many new ones I have? With the arches, with the Louis XIV heel. Molly. Yes. Molly. 
Uh, uh, David, darling, maybe you'll close the windows in your room. Yes, darling, please. It looks like there's thunder in the sky. Yes, dear. Yes. Thank you, David. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So let me hear a waiter in. Oh, Jake, I knew if David Sally wasn't going, then there was something. So let me hear the something. Shh, David mustn't hear. Uh, but can I hear? Oh, Jake, darling, Jake. The baby, Sally's baby, Marilyn, 104 temperature. 104? Shh. Sally said David mustn't know. I would say it would be better to tell him. But he said I shouldn't tell him if I could only maneuver some way to go to see the baby before I have to go to temple. What could you do even if you went? I'm sure everything oh. is being done. Such a baby, such a darling. The apple of David's eye, his youngest grandchild. Let's only hope she'll be all right. Oh. Get dressed, Molly. You're still in your kimono. Oh, wait till I vanish. Don't open the door. Right. One minute. Coming, coming. Oh, Mr. Ellenbogen, come in. Good come evening, in. Mr. Goldberg. Good evening. Uh, are you ready to go to the temple? Should we wait for you? Maybe we could all walk over together, huh? Uh, in a little while. Mrs. Herman told Mrs. Ellenbogen that Uncle David's grandchild is sick. You, uh, you're not going to tell him, are you? Uh, no, sure not. That's sensible. Why upset the old man? Uh, Mr. Ellenbogen, your suit. <laughs> My suit? Uh, it's not mine. Schneider sent it up by mistake, but, but there's <laughs> nothing I could do about it. He's closed. But Mr. Ellenbogen... You know, confidentially, Goldberg, I haven't had a new suit for quite a few holidays. Two suits my entire wardrobe. A blue one that shines like a looking glass and uh, a working suit. Oh, I am not complaining. As long as my wife has a new dress and then my Linda is wearing velvet and new Mary Jane shoes, what else do I care about? The only thing is I feel sorry for the fella that has to wear my suit. But there's nothing I can do about it. But I'll, I'll take it off as soon as I get back from Temple. No, Goldberg? A suit without a shine it does something for a man's psychology. Yes, it does. Joe, well? Come in there, sir. Hello, Mrs. Hello. 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 New Mary Janes and Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we'll see you later. Yes. We'll right. call for you in a few minutes. Fine, fine, fine. Bye. Bye. Uh, Wasn't that your suit he had on, Pa? Yes, it was. Well, why didn't you tell him? Because I liked the way he looked in it. Jake, Jake, while yes. it's still light and I got time, I'll go over to my Sally. I'm a little older than Sally. I should have more sense than Sally. I should get mad because one time my Sally wants to go with his father-in-law, so I'll go with yes, him. See, David, see? That I wouldn't do. Why not? Well, well, why shouldn't I? Because. Because. Because is a reason. Because is no reason. What did I do with my head? Where's yeah. my head? We have to stop him, Jay. Of course we have to stop oh, him. All we need now, we should go to Sally and see a sick child. So what are you going to do? Will you stop him? I'm going to try. <laughs> <clears throat> David. David, if you'll excuse me. And nobody likes your Sally like I like your Sally. But for Sally to do this to you and not to go to temple with you. It's all right. It's not all right, darling. A father-in-law is not a father. Molly, my Sally. Ah, uh -huh, your Sally. A son don't do that to a father. Not the kind of father you would society. Sally, about my Sally, better don't talk. A boy <laughs> like my Sally. Your Sally. Your Sally was a wonderful boy. Was? My Sally was? My Sally is? My Sally always was. My Sally for his papa? And I should be mad because one time he wants to go with his father? A father can be blind also when it comes very to children. Very blind, now very stop, blind. Stop, stop. Talk anything but stop when you talk what shouldn't be spoken about my Sally. No, yeah, David, you're going to Sally? Did Sally invite you? Did Sally say, come over, Papa, and go to temple with me? I don't know. Maybe he did. I didn't hear him. You heard him say. Uh, be before you go, David, call Sally. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, no. maybe that. I'll, I'll, I'll dial you, David, and you talk to Sally, and you tell him you want to come over, and uh, and that's all. Here, David. Molly, don't make me mad at you. It's young Keeper. Hello? Hello, Sally? This is me, Molly. I. Yeah. Uh, Papa wants to talk to you. 
He's standing here right on my shoulder. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very well. As you wish. Yeah. Hello, Sally. Sally, I'm coming over. Well, so we'll go all together to the temple with your father-in-law. Why, why, why not? Well, it's just so if I'm not a member in your temple, you are a mem... Well... Well... All right. Goodbye. Molly, sometimes a father can live too long. He doesn't want me to go with him to temple. Why, Dave? It's not that Sally doesn't want you, Dave. Well, it's all right, Jake. Tell him, Molly. Jake, it's, it's nothing, Dave. It's only, only Sally's Marilyn. Well, well what Marilyn? It's only, David, it's just the, a... The child is sick, David. That's why, that's why Sally said he couldn't go to temple with you, that he was going with his father-in-law. He didn't want you to worry. Oh. Oh. Nothing.
the baby's going to be all right. <laughs> just wish for all of you God's blessings on this day and greetings from our family to your family. Good night.